Jane, you just came off an incredible set tonight here back at Taffy's. Thank you, Thank you so very much for coming out. Tell me a little bit about how you got your musical career started. At what age did you start music? I started kind of late. I started um, probably around age 30. Oh, wow. Um, what brought I, you to that? Well, I did some things in college. I started writing original music in college, but I didn't really perform it except for a couple of open mics. Okay. And when I got to town, I started listening to a great station back then called WOXY. Um, and it was, I was listening to All Country before that, and then they were a modern rock, as it was called then, alternative station. And I fell in love with that music and started writing and wrote a lot, went into a studio and did a demo, sent it to Do uh, WO. No way. Yeah. And they so what, I mean, uh, let's stop for just a second. So did you pick up a guitar or what instrument did you? Well, I had played guitar as a kid. So you played um, guitar and I then did, with 30, yeah. it just gave the break. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you send it in and then what happened? They played it, and okay. it went into rotation. Okay. And then um, I was asked to do a gig in Dayton. Okay. And did. Where was your first gig? It was at Canal Street Tavern. Okay. Great. Uh, Mick Montgomery. Great Mick Montgomery, right? Yeah. And I didn't have a band, and so that's why I got a band together. And how did you select so, your band? I mean, how did that... Um, well, that was a different lineup, and then okay. the next year was a different lineup, but then my lineup now, we've been together for 20 years. No kidding, yeah. And that's hard to do when you're a, a local act, yeah. and, you know, um, there's not a whole lot of money and fame uh, in it, so you have to really have a love for the music, and especially for each other with the music. Who were your inspirations? So when you started at age 30, who were your inspiration musically? Um, well, I think I was inspired probably from, more from childhood, from like, just very melodic um, singer-songwriters. I, I loved like the Carpenters. Gotcha. Um, and um, later on, Leonard Cohen. Um, and... Then, but when I started playing back in the 90s, it was, um, I came out at the same time like Liz Fair came out, so those female singer-songwriters. Um, I always ask myself, so when you write songs, and be honest with me, I know you will be, but when you write the songs, do you write the songs for yourself or do you write them for the audience? Um, I honestly write them for both. When I write a song for this project, for the Jane Sachs Fan Project, I write it to record it, and I write it to perform it. So gotcha. I have those thoughts in mind, but the content of the song, for this project anyway, it's always, the content is always for myself. Yeah. And I feel like I have to be moved, um, or else I why do it? Yeah. Um, I mean, so, everybody can feel in all of your concerts, you've been here many times, there's such a connection with the audience. And uh, it's, I mean, it's incredible. I mean, what you stir up in people, I think that's what makes you so successful. Tell us your website real quick so people can download your music or uh, if they want to send you an email or whatever. What's your website? Well, the website is janesax.com and it's... J A Y N. -E I'm gonna put it on screen right here. S A C H S. But anyway, but what the, it, it'll confuse people because I'm also writing right now a lot okay. for the Nashville market. Okay. And I think in this interview I've been looking at the light, so I don't know. Now, like I've been looking <laughs> good, down, but now good. I guess I'm supposed to look up. But um, but I've been writing a lot for Nashville and for the country market. Um, okay. And so I'm in in transition with what people are going to see on the website. So it might confuse them because there's my country stuff up there. Gotcha. That's me not even doing right. the demos. I'm not even singing on them. So that's for other artists in, in Nashville to hopefully record. So I've been involved in that. And it's strengthened my writing. Okay. Um, it's gotten me out of my box. And it's been a whole different type of um, songwriting. Good deal. Hey, you know we love you. Many, many blessings. Thank we'll you. see you soon, right? Thank you very much. Love you. you too. Bye.